create this thing, it happens. It turns out that for some reason, this group of people seem to do something new. Known elements, old songs, revived or some new element injected into it for the modern age, and it works. And we came of age at a time, 1975, 76, when the economy in Ireland and the UK was running straight into the wall. Something was going to have to happen. And you can look at the punk thing as simply an articulation of this, this rage of 18, 19-year-olds who'd left school, who'd been told there was a future, and they leave and there's nothing. And you say, but you told us if we did this. Again, authority failed. So if authority fails you, why respect it? Why not tear up the symbols of authority? So you have the sex pistols ripping up the flag and sticking it together with safety pins and sellotape and the image of the monarch and doing the same thing. It was the symbols of authority. And the country was literally being held economically together with sticking plaster and safety pins. It was a brilliant visualization of the state we were in. And they were calling for this change. Nobody expected the change to be female with a handbag that just swiped everything in its path. But, I mean, Thatcher was Johnny Rotten in drag, you know. I mean, <laughs> but that's the great thing about art or rock and roll. The job of the artist, essentially, without them knowing it, is to articulate what society is feeling without society even knowing it's feeling it until they hear it or see it. And there's a response. They go, yes, that's it. And it goes to number one. That's what happened with Rat Trap. I wrote it about working in that abattoir back in 1973. And it goes to number one here. But a band is the essence of an entrepreneurial activity. The idea is to find the idea articulate it so that everyone working with you agrees to this end object. And it cannot be just money. It just can't be. There has to be some other purpose. Because you're tired of the bleatings of people who become successful and rich and there's an emptiness and they go off on these crap Tibetan or, you know, starving diets or something like that and it's whining about this, that and the other. Shut up. You know, because I'm worth it, you're not worth it. You can have it all. You can't have it all. We're humans. What is all? Total, complete satisfaction, happiness? It doesn't work. It doesn't happen. I'm sure, because if it's true of me, it's true of you, discontent is part of the entrepreneurial lot. So when you go out to make your own jobs, to create your own businesses, to make real, intangibles like ideas. You are doing it, I suggest, for something other than simply cash. Yes, you want to make money out of it. Yes, you have a responsibility to your employees. But it cannot just be that. It's the idea that excites you. It's the realization of self. That you aren't the creature of another person that you are determining your own life, and fuck failure. It doesn't exist. Not to our mindset. <laughs>